Chapter 2, Part 6. Motion is relative. Now we know that Earth is moving around the Sun. The speed of Earth around the Sun is, around, is about 30 km per second. And it makes one round in a year. Now Copernicus announced the idea of a moving Earth in the 16th century. However, one of the arguments against a moving Earth was this one. Consider a bird sitting at rest on the top of a tall tree. Now the bird sees a worm on the ground. The bird wants to catch it. Now it was argued that this would not be possible if Earth move, is moving as Copernicus suggested. Because as the bird going down, flying down, Earth is moving very fast. And since the worm is on the ground, it's going to move with, the, with Earth. So the bird will never be able to catch it. Now, of course, you can review, refuse this argument using the idea of inertia. Now, we know that Earth is moving, actually, at 30 km per second. But also the tree is moving, the worm is moving, and even it, the bird is moving, and even the air in between is moving. So everything is moving with Earth. So all objects on Earth move with Earth as it moves around the sun. Now, as the bird jumps, due to his inertia, it, he will, he will, the bird will continue to go sideways with, at the speed of Earth along with the tree, worm, etc. So Earth does not need to be at rest. Simply again, say it again, because the bird has, is moving also with Earth. So as the bird flies downward, he will keep his speed with Earth. Let's answer this question. You are riding in a van at a steady speed, which means the speed is constant and you are moving in a straight line. Now you toss a coin up. Where will the coin land? So is it behind you, ahead of you, back in your hand, or there is not enough information? Think about it. You are moving in a van. The van is moving at a steady speed. So you are also moving with the van, same speed, and so the coin. Now, once you toss the coin up, the coin will keep moving also with the van and with you. So it will come back in your hand. So the answer is C. And that's what, what we mean by motion is relative. Motion is relative means that motion really is judged and viewed by an observer. You need an observer who is observing the motion to judge whether you are moving or the object is moving or not. To, to clarify this, let's take an example. When you sit on a chair in the classroom, what is your speed relative to your classmates? Of course, your classmates will look at you and they will say, you are at rest. They are the observer. So your classmates are the observer and they're saying that they are viewing you and they are judging your motion to be at rest. However, if somebody asks you, what is your speed relative to the sun? Now here, let's imagine there is an observer sitting on the sun and he's looking at you. You will see the earth is moving, and so you are also moving with earth. So according to that observer, you are moving. Now the question is, which answer is correct? Well, in fact, both of them are correct. Because motion, it depends on the observer. It's viewed by the observer. So both of observers are correct. That's what they see.